क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा Hello friends now we are going to talk about that is homologous series in the previous lecture we have discussed about a certain iupac nomenclature of certain compounds certain organic compounds and now let us understand that is what is homologous series and what are the characteristic of this homologous series or homologous compounds so now let us talk about it so now let us understand what is homologous series so the definition is as follows that is a series of organic compounds containing a characteristic functional group and successive members differ from each other in their molecular formula by ch2 which is known as methylene group is called as a homologous series so let me give an example so that you can understand this kind of definition or this term that is homologous series in a very better way so suppose if we are concerned with uh, the organic compound that is uh, suppose if we are concerned like uh, methane so in this case it is the first member of uh, the alkane that is methane ch4 suppose if we are talking about the uh, next member of this so therefore it could be written as that is ch3 ch3 and talking about the another one that is for propane it would be ch3 ch2 ch3 and this will go on but if you found out the difference between that uh, what are the similarities and uh, what is the difference that we could see if you observe the first member of the alkane that is methane and the second member of the alkane that is ethane so you could find that uh, the number of carbon it increases by one so here also if you are talking about the third uh, alkane that is uh, uh, propane so again uh, the uh, one carbon has been increased uh, compared to that of the previous one and this is basically ethane so in this case basically one carbon uh, atom it goes on increasing not only carbon atom but also the two hydrogen atoms so if we observe the molecular formula so this is basically ch4 but if you uh, observe the molecular formula for this one then this could be written as c2h6 so therefore there is a difference of that is ch2 ch2 group is the one that is basically the difference between this two successive members of the alkane and similarly we can find the same kind of difference uh, that is uh, the difference of the ch2 in this uh, successive uh, members of this alkane and that is what uh, this is basically known as homologous series so they have a particular uh, basically difference and that is basically ch2 group and that is the reason they, they are known as uh, homologous series but it is not only for alkane it could be for anyone for example uh, or for any other organic compound bond uh, which consist of the same functional group in overall in overall molecule suppose if we are concerned with that of a methanol suppose i am writing it over here that is uh, ch3oh so this is the first member of uh, the alcohol organic alcohol that we know that is methanol and suppose if we are talking about the uh, another uh, one and that could be basically known as uh, ethanol so that could be written as that is ch3 ch2 oh talking about the third member it could be written as that is ch3 ch2 again ch2 and this is oh so this one is basically methanol ethanol propanol butanol uh, hexanol and this will go on pentanol hexanol and this will go on so if you find out the respective uh, or the two consecutive groups of it so suppose if we are talking about that is methanol and again ethanol so you could find that uh, they both are alcohol because they have a common functional group that is oh but the thing is they also differ with some kind of uh, the other functional group also or with some kind of other uh, atoms also and that is nothing but ch2 so there is a difference of ch2 group over here that is a methylene group over here similarly if we concern with uh, that is uh, ethanol and propanol again ch3 ch2 that is the common thing along with that of the oh group that is the common thing but this is the one which is basically more in uh, basically um, in uh, propanol compared to that of the ethanol so this kind of uh, uh, ch2 group this goes on increasing if we go from uh, a lower member of a particular organic compound to a higher member of a particular uh, organic compound so this will go on increasing and that is what they are basically known as homologous series so this is what we have uh, uh, mentioned the example over here and let us talk about the another uh, concept that is what are the characteristic of this homologous series so now let us understand that also so now let us talk about the characteristic of the homologous series and uh, so that is as follows as i am mentioning over here that is uh, the first point is each member of the homologous series can be represented by the general formula so for example the example that we have uh, we have mentioned over here recently suppose in this case we have mentioned over here 
as alkane in this case so therefore the general formula that we could write it uh, is the that is cn h2n plus 2 so it is not only it is applicable to the first one but it is applicable to every homologous or homologue of uh, uh, the series and that is what we could uh, find that uh, this is the formula or this is the molecular formula that is applicable to uh, the each uh, each group or each member of this homologous series so similarly if we observe this one uh, that is for alcohol we could uh, again we could mention it in this way that is uh, cn h 2n plus 1 oh we could represent it in this way also and that is how basically not only methanol but every member of this homologous series or every member of this uh, uh, methanol homologous series of methanol it will uh, follow the same molecular formula so this was the first uh, characteristic that we have mentioned about so now let us move on to the second point so the second point is uh, the homologues have uh, same functional groups and similar chemical properties obviously we have uh, just now we have mentioned about uh, the alkane and uh, alcohol as an uh, example so as to understand this homologous series so in this case we have got to know that uh, the functional group of the alcohol is basically OH and that is what uh, it will follow every every member of that particular uh, homologous series it will have the same functional group and in that case it was OH it could be any other organic group also or any other organic compound which consists of a particular group it could be ether it could be ketone and so on and they have also they have uh, will have a similar chemical property and uh, that is what ethanol is uh, uh, having the almost the similar property compared to that of uh, whether it could be a physical property or whether it could be chemical property compared to that of the other uh, members of the alcohol so this is what we have mentioned about here in the second point and now let us move on to the third point and it says that the two successive uh, homologues differ by a molecular weight by 40 so let me explain this also so I hope you have uh, recently you have got to know that how basically they are uh, uh, basically having a difference of 14. So if you observe this too, that is suppose if I am talking about uh, the methane and if I am talking about uh, the ethane, obviously they have uh, they have a difference of that is uh, a group that is a uh, methylene group that is CH2. So if we observe this methylene group, then uh, if we talk about the molecular formula or if we talk about uh, the uh, molecular weight, so molecular formula is always is it is differing from that is CH2 molecule uh, or CH2 group. While talking about the molecular mass, so this carbon which has a molecular mass or atomic mass of 12, while that of the uh, hydrogen it has an atomic mass of 1. But there are two hydrogens over here, so I could write it in this way. That is 12 plus 1 plus 1. It is actually 14. So obviously there will be a such kind of difference between the two successive in, in terms of the molecular weight they will have a difference of 14 in the two successive uh, members of the homologous series. So in this case also suppose if we talk about the uh, molecular weight of CH4 so suppose if it has been found to be that is 16 so obviously there will be difference of uh, 14 over here so therefore we could say that is this one would have 16 plus 14 and overall we could say that is uh, the overall uh, molecular mass it will be basically 30 so this is very much compatible so let me analyze it that is for each carbon atom that is uh, it has an atomic mass of 12 so 12 into 2 that is 24 and uh, along with that of that is six hydrogen atoms are uh, there basically uh, then 24 plus 6 uh, uh, then it would be basically 30 so this is going on and this will go on and this is what i was talking about the third point and now let us move on to the next point so the next point is uh, that is all the members of the homologous series can be uh, prepared by similar methods so obviously it is very much common to know because they have the same kind of uh, chemical they can uh, they have same kind of uh, the physical property so obviously uh, it is very much uh, easy to understand that how basically they are having the same uh, uh, kind of or similar methods to, to prepare it so even it could be that is methanol even it could be ethanol so the uh, method of preparation is almost the same uh, whenever we are talking about uh, the members of the particular homologous series or of a particular organic compound so that is what i was uh, discussing about the fourth point and now let us move on to the next point that is the fifth point and it says that uh, the physical properties of the homologous uh, shows a gradual change with increase in the molecular weight of the member so for example physical property in the case of that is um, uh, we could say like boiling point melting point and uh, density so this are certain physical properties that we could find that uh, they are changing uh, if we talk about uh, the successive uh, members of the homologous series and so uh, let me give an example that is suppose if you are talking about, about methane and if you are talking about ethane so they are the two successive members of uh, uh, or in a homologous series and uh, that is how we could find that uh, the lower members of the alkane are 
they are uh, of gaseous state while uh, the upper one they are basically of liquid state and the higher one uh, is basically we could say that they can be of solid state so this is how basically they could differ in the melting point or boiling point also as well as the density also so this is what uh, uh, i was mentioning about and uh, that's it this is what uh, all about the characteristic of the homologous series and i hope you have understood this very clearly so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and you have got to know about what is homologous series of a particular organic compound and uh, i hope uh, you have understood this topic very clearly and i hope you'll share this video with the friends and yes don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much